Welcome to We Win. From a driver lost control of his vehicle after its front left tire blew cause a hang time to shocking video of a pileup in Hokkaido last moth, road incidents can happen suddenly and with significant impact. Our video will bring you through some of the most notable road events and encourage you to always practice responsible driving. that poor tree. <gasps> the driver lost control of his vehicle after its front left tire blew. So terrible. Obey speed limit, please. Be calm as you can behind the wheel and never get into ego battles because your life is most valuable. Taking rest after a long journey, truckers. <laughs> Same case because of overspeed. Highs, the car didn't lose control. The driver did. This is pile up in Hokkaido last moth. Driving slowly, folks. That pole didn't even shake. Oh my. If you find our videos help you drive better, please comment number one so we can make more videos. Thanks much. Now continue. <laughs> This occurred in Slovenia. Unbelievable. All are okay. Like an action film. Wow, Terrifying dash cam video captures the moment a truck overturns, scattering scrap metal all over a road in Alabama, USA. As the drowsy driver nodded off at the wheel, they inadvertently tested the durability of the cable barrier, seemingly hoping it would serve as a makeshift pillow for a brief nap. Changing so fast and this is bad result, never be emulated. A driver in a green Toyota sedan intentionally cut off a dump truck traveling southbound on I-75, causing the dump truck driver to lose control and spin into the path of two other southbound tractor trailers. An Amazon truck hanging precariously off an Interstate 35 overpass causes a spectacle for passing motorists. Like video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to watch more amazing moments. Remember how you were taught to look left, right, left when crossing the street? Oh, it applies to crossing intersections with cars too. Cool cars, such a shame.
a truck overturns and catches fire on a highway in eastern China. In this chase, the police pursued a suspect who allegedly stole a van, ending when the van collided with a vehicle on the highway. They are obviously drunk. Never do it. <laughs> what is he trying to do? A car driver ran a red light and crashed into an auto at high speed in company. Fortunately, the auto driver and passenger only sustained minor injuries. So lucky man. <laughs> A lorry driver attempted to turn around and ended up blocking the road in Stockport, but eventually gave up. Unfortunately, a traffic cone didn't fare so well. Luckily, both are safe and unharmed. Keep enough distance for your safe and others. Be safe out there, folks. The thieves throwing the stolen bags of money out of their car window after being chased by police on Chile Highway. Do you wish you were in Chile, Alain? Haha. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to our channel to see more about this side of nature. See you in the next video. Remember to slow down when getting off the ramp, guys. A car veered into a median and became airborne, crashing into the second floor of an office building in Orange County. Avoid of overtaking the blind curve on the double yellow line. It's illegal. So terrible. Its fastest way will fly you home in no time. Caravans are particularly susceptible to swaying or becoming unstable, especially when passing large vehicles like trucks. Without proper handling, this can lead to a loss of control, rollovers or accidents. This incident is a clear example of that risk. Remember, the streets are for cruising, not colliding. It was like final destination and the dump truck kept trying. Hope trucker was okay. Sir, you can't park there.
An accident occurred near Buti in the Novosibirsk region of Russia when a Volvo heavy truck lost control and collided with the roadside. Truck driver never needs to drive again, haha. Very good car driver, he brakes early on. If you find our videos help you drive better, please comment number one so we can make more videos. Thanks much, now continue. Amazing video of a heavy load lorry speed turning. An overloaded truck, piled high with bags of various goods, tipped over while transporting its load. Remember to follow the weight and size regulations on all roads, everyone. Never change lane like that. A good driver never misses an exit. This occurred in Melbourne, Victoria. One of the worst things about driving is you can drive as carefully as possible and still get in an accident because of idiots like this Hazis. Thanks God, no one was hurt. Adjust your driving to suit the weather, whether it's rain, snow or fog. Like video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to watch more amazing moments. Oh my! Be aware of the vehicle in front, and allow enough space to stop in time when it suddenly stops. didn't seem to be going too fast, so it was probably overloaded with too much weight in the rear and too little nose weight. At least no one was injured. An Arkansas trooper loses control and crashes into a divider after trying to stop an Accord fleeing from a traffic stop. Luckily he was not injured. car burned down within 10 minutes in front of the driver on a snowy road. Can you guess the reason? Share your thoughts in the comments. Respect others on road. Never jump red light.
How a great reaction of fifth driver. I don't understand why all pull out just to stop halfway. Never do it. Thankfully, no one was injured. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to our channel to see more about this side of nature. See you in the next video. A car narrowly escaped being crushed by a truck that collided with a low clearance overpass in China. Bless him. Out of control into Texas Walmart. So terrible. What other outcome can people driving this way possibly expect? Don't drive too fast. Somehow cut off seven minutes. <laughs> Always stay focused on the road ahead and keep enough distance. Get over here. Please be patient on road. When cornering, you are so close to the vehicles on the roadside, so there is no guarantee that a collision will not occur. Be careful. Always be careful with solid line, folks. Oh, is everyone asleep? It happened in I-380 southbound between exit 10. Overloading cause it could be not over river. Who can help him? Bad that how many people habitually tailgate in traffic. They aren't even in a hurry, they just need to be right on the bumper of the car in front of thee. So, idiot driver. Never be emulated it. This truck lost control on the wet road, fortunately avoiding an oncoming truck. It crashed into a tree, but luckily no one was injured. Sir, you need a ticket. Now, let's watch it again in slow motion. Oh 
Oh my god. He went off at 225 kmh in hydro pole. You know, being patient can save lives and prevent accidents. Oh my god. Oh my god. It seems people forgot how to drive all of a sudden. A viral video as a photographer was covering a traffic accident. He caught another crash on camera. Yes, it did. Live. Live. Oh my god. Um. Stand by, stand by. A crazy truck crash on wet treacherous road in Saskis. Please be more careful when driving in the rain. This is never a good choice for you to transport a broken car. Pay attention more on your road ahead. Never text message or live stream. Oh my god. Following a collision in Poland, two cars were significantly damaged. One car landed on the road, while the other collided with a lamppost, splitting it in half. Never make a sudden turn. Will harm both you and others. Slow down at intersections. Drinking and driving is illegal and causes many harms. In Trap Province, Thailand, a truck crashed into a grocery store while pensioners sat on the front porch. CCTV footage captured the moment, but luckily, no serious injuries were reported, though the store's porch and nearby shops were damaged. If you find our videos help you drive better, please comment number one so we can make more videos. Thanks much. Now continue. Being patient can save lives and prevent accidents. Please be careful. What happened with him? Can you guess? Please adherence to safety protocols on road. Anyway, you should not drive through floods. Be careful. Oh my god. Just missed him. That guy's stuck. Wow. If you live in Cornwall and I sue that you are so used to reversing on country lanes now. I don't know whether my back's in far enough. 
that man. Driving right your lane. Do not be careless like this. Driving is so insanely easy, but people like this makes it harder than it needs to. So sad. Tires must be checked carefully before driving. Learn to look in the rear view mirror while driving. I can tell with 1000% accuracy that many people were on their cell phone or radio instead of paying attention to the road. You should observe and prepare to brake from afar. Don't wait until the last minute to brake suddenly. I can only say that it was a careless driver. Never do it. Haven't you followed our channel? Don't forget to subscribe to get more videos. He fell asleep while driving. Thanks God, no one was hurt. Unbelievable. Reading and driving. Do you think the perfect example of why autopilot is an especially bad idea? So dangerous. Thankfully, there was no collision. In this case, he should absolutely be slowing down. chase of police and those who violate traffic laws should never hope to escape from the police. An orange Dodge Charger flew by a Michigan State Police Trooper doing 120 mph on I-75 and it crashed into another car later. A dashcam video captures a harrowing moment as a car crashes through a median, flipping over onto the opposite side of Highway 95. The sparse traffic raises concerns about slick roads. A jeep towing a caravan careened out of control, resulting in the caravan's destruction. Always keep a safe distance from the tracks to avoid getting stuck or risking a collision with an upcoming train. Wow. Oh my god, a Hollywood footage. Now just pull, pull over. In Bellingham, a dramatic scene unfolded as an out-of-control truck careened into the sign of Chevy's ice cream parlor, causing significant damage. Miraculously, the shop was closed. The truck narrowly avoided heading a parked car. Oh, no, so fast, so furious. Remember, crash in bed. Not on the road. <laughs> Footage shows a crazy man driving down M6 slip road near Coventry before suddenly slamming on the brakes, causing the driver behind to smash into his rear. Never do it.
a white van crashed into the back of a tractor trailer just in the Niagara bound lanes of the QEW. It was possibly debris on the roadway that leads to the vehicle losing control and then hitting the rear of the tractor trailer. Like the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more amazing moments. It's a good thing you check mirrors before changing lanes. The camera recorded the heart-stopping incident as a caravan veered out of control on the southeastern freeway in South Australia. It's a good job he had the Alco trailer control system working, although nearly loses control. This truck was traveling on the highway when a caravan attempted to overtake it in the same lane, leading to a collision. Both vehicles suffered significant damage, but fortunately, no one inside was injured. If only there was some sort of way to warn drivers of what could happen on the road. This took the advisory sign as a requirement sign for that bend. Huh, so poor. That thing is an accident waiting to happen. What a horrible design. If you find our videos help you drive better, please comment your thoughts so we can make more videos. Thank you very much. Now continue. Oh my! A pickup towing another pickup with a tow rope decides to cross the road in front of 70 miles per hour plus traffic. Hush! I don't think it's necessarily at the behest of the Biden administration. Well, ain't that nice! There's a lot more streets. Oh, they do seem to pretty much. Do truck drivers ever give way to each other on the road? It's sad that today this situation is all too popular. Lamborghinis doing what they do best. Speeding. Don't follow it. Oh my god. Next time you're out and about driving through the countryside, watch out for turd trucks. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to our channel to see more about this side of nature. See you in the next video. It's hard to understand why some people can't stop at a red light. driver told the police the car cut him off. Go to 50 seconds in? <laughs> Do you believe him? Passy bike. I use it all the time and I've already made around 200 bucks. You can make that kind of cash back just for buying the gas you have to buy anyway. Yes, at the next exit. This truck driver cuts him off because they didn't want to wait for him to pass. What do you think about this driver? You can cash out any time right to your bank to PayPal or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Thank you for staying with us throughout this incredible journey. We'd love to hear which moment resonated with you the most. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. See you in the next video.